Liz Truss. Environmental destruction is part of Liz Truss' plan. The environmental damage that Liz Truss intends to bring to this country is not collateral damage. It's not a byproduct of their economic program. It is a sign of her true faith and a sign that she follows her own ideology. Because at the root of this doctrine, neoliberalism, is the belief that everything on earth can and must be changed into something else. The founder of neoliberalism is Friedrich Hayek. His openly insane pamphlet, The Constitution of Liberty, enjoys an almost biblical status among his students. Margaret Thatcher, perhaps the book's most famous proponent, Truss now carries the flames, it defies the protection of the living world. Instead of trying to protect the soil, the delicate ecosystem that produces his 99% of our calories, Hayek says he wants to extract as much value as possible, deplete it, once and forever, and then says it makes sense to give up the land. Soil's role is to generate a temporary contribution to income that can be invested in other money-making schemes. Nothing makes a better investment in conserving natural resources than man-made equipment. According to this belief system, our destiny is to monetize nature. When you point out that the ecological collapse this causes will destroy every aspect of our lives, including our economy, neoliberals reply that resources are virtually limitless. As drought hits rivers and waterways this summer, Congressman John Redwood said, why? Water is the most abundant renewable resource on earth. This way of thinking denies not only the environmental crisis, but also material reality. If all they know is money, why can't they summon all other money? It wants to break our planning controls and create an investment zone, where corporations and oligarchs can build whatever they want. This policy is justified by trickle-down economics. If you let home builders do their best, some of the homes they build may become affordable for the poor. But the industry employs endless tricks to avoid building affordable housing, sitting in land banks and carefully managing supply to keep prices high. There's a better way to get a decent home. Our team proposed some of them in our report to Labour Party land for the many. But the defensive ring that the billionaire press has built around their fortune puts most people off. By contrast, the trust proposal offers no solution, allowing the sprawling expansion of loosely regulated cities in some of Britain's most beautiful countryside. According to the Adam Smith Institute, one of the dark money lobby groups, the zones are the first step to dismantling the national planning system. She is also introducing a bill to Parliament to repeal 570 environmental laws inherited from the EU. Due to the speed of this program, there are bound to be regulatory loopholes, even if they intend to replace them with laws of equal strength. Suggests introducing weaker laws are no laws at all. Truss made me vegan, in 2015, when she was environment minister, I came across a shocking river pollution incident. A dairy farm was pulling pipes into the river from one of his manure lagoons, turning a beautiful ecosystem into a stinking sewer. We reported it to the Environment Agency, but they refused to take any action. After expressing surprise in The Guardian, she was approached by two of her whistleblowers at the Environment Agency. They told me they had been instructed to ignore any incidents of this nature, citing government pressure. I have decided that if the government is not willing to regulate the industry, I do not want to eat their produce. Truss has volunteered for a major funding cut to her department. Contrary to expert advice, she insisted that farmers dredge the waterways that flow through their land without supervision or regulation. A report from the Environment Agency showing that it raises the risk has been removed from the government website. She was the worst environment minister ever, which is quite an achievement considering her predecessors. Increase. The EU's common agricultural policy, which pays farmers to keep their land in agricultural condition, is one of the world's most destructive policy tools and a huge malicious incentive to destroy wildlife habitat. Is. This should be replaced in the UK by paying public money for public goods such as habitat protection and restoration. But to the delight of the National Farmers Union and to the dismay of the good farmers it does not represent, the government returns to the regressive practice of paying people to own land. It would be another remittance to the rich, another incentive to destruction. Truss has overturned the fracking ban in the UK, but even the founder of Britain's first fracking company says it's a waste of time here, forget geology. Principles matter. The Truss gave the energy directive to Jacob Rees-Mogg, or Rees-Mogg as environmentalists call him. The Truss administration should be considered an experiment. What happens when neoliberal ultras trained by dark money think tanks get whatever they want? The result? The economy falls off a cliff and the fabric of the country is torn apart. Bottom line. Never let such people near the government ever again. Finally, big conservation groups are working. The RSPB, the Wildlife Trust and the National Trust together have about 8 million members and are discussing mobilization. 
The time has come. For too long, while successive governments have ravaged the country, they have failed to exercise power. We should stop interpreting vandalism as an accidental result of other policies. It's politics. I have a request. Millions of people come to The Guardian every day for open, independent, high quality news, and readers in 180 countries now support us financially. We believe everyone has a right to access to information based on science and truth, and analysis based on authority and honesty. So we made another choice. It means keeping our stories open to all readers, no matter where they live or how much they can afford. This means that more people can be more informed, united, and encouraged to take meaningful action.